welcome back to my channel. I am so motherfucking excited today because we are starting off the spooky motherfucking season with our first look of October 2019, Bad Bitch Cleopatra. I was extremely discouraged throughout this whole process. It was an emotional motherfucking roller coaster, but I stuck to it. I just trusted the process, and this is the final result. So you might laugh at me for the next, it's probably gonna be like a 30 minute video because you all can talk, and I was desperate for some help. But um, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you wanna see how I got this motherfucking bad bitch, Cleo motherfucking Petra motherfucking look, just keep on watching. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying motherfucking. Okay. <laughs> This is so exciting because a few reasons. So it's the first look of Halloween, which you know a bitch loves. And I'm also recording on my brand new camera setup. Um, I've played around with the lights in my room. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping, I'm praying that after all this motherfucking money I spent, that this shit is better quality. But so far from what I'm looking at in the viewfinder, which is what I'm looking at. So like, like this is what I'm looking at you. This is what I'm looking at the viewfinder. So, so far, um, everything's looking pretty good. You know, we out here. Um, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, which I completely forgot because I'm so excited, I'm just gonna do my brows. I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna prime my lids and apply some tape. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera though because no one really gives a fuck about all that. You know what I'm saying? So let's just, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my audio cut out. Uh, I don't know why, this is a new camera and I'm still learning. So basically in this clip, all I'm doing is I'm using my P. Louise base. I am putting it all over the lids. I already have my tape on and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty sponge and then set it with some powder. Then I go into the shade Boutique from the James Charles and Morphe palette and I use a fluffy brush. A good one would be the E40. And I start to put that as my transition color in the crease. I can't believe this happened like it's my first time using the camera and i already have a major major fuck up why am i like this i don't know but also i would like to add you guys that i was unaware of what the hell i was going to do with this look i had no idea where it was going to go so i kind of just you know i winged it i winged it and i killed it might i add so yeah in the next step i'm grabbing a smaller brush and i'm getting the black eyeshadow from the morphe palette i forgot what it's called the same james charles and morphe palette but the brush that i was using is a morphe m330 and i was just putting that in the crease just to deepen it a little bit more and create some more dimension and again i still have no idea where the hell this is going but i was just trusting the process and then after this i was going to go and cut my crease off camera so we'll be back so in this part my creases have been cut it only took me 46 years and i'm using the ben nye glitter glue and the elo cosmetics glitter in goddess which is like a very pretty gold i'm gonna put that all over the lid i didn't cut my crease all the way uh because i'm at this point i am still very unsure of what the heck is going on but i'm just gonna go ahead and put glitter on both sides and then i'm gonna get off the camera and I'm gonna do the liner off camera as well, which was also another super long product uh, process, but the voice or the audio is about to cut back on, so I don't have to do these really weird, awkward voice notes anymore. Okay, uh, bye. This happened off camera, um, and it took a good 15 minutes. I ended up using the Tardis Clay Paint Liner and a Sigma E65 and it took me a really long time and I did have to layer it a lot so now the eyeliner is looking chunky. In order to salvage this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the other eye. I, I don't see if you guys, if you guys can't tell, I extended the inner corner which that was also a total bitch to do which why I don't do it because my eyes are not made for these type of eye shapes like I have to really finesse it a lot. So um, I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna put on some really big lashes. I haven't decided which ones yet, but I have a few here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyeliner. Um, and then when I'm done with the other eyeliner, 
I'm gonna see if I wanna add something to here on the outside so that it's a little bit more complete because right now I feel like it needs to be come it needs to come together and we're not there yet. So this is where we're at. I'm gonna do this on the other eye. Pray for me. Please pray for me. Please. I don't think you understand how stressful this was to me. Like this, it was so incredibly stressful. I was like, why, why, why? Why the fuck would I do this? That's ridiculous. Let's move on to lashes. I found my most extra lashes that I have, which is my Batty B lashes in the style hashtag Batty. And um, I actually wore these on my wedding, fun fact. So let's put on some mascara real quick and let's apply these bad boys. This is my Luxie Flat Definer 221 brush. And there's just something about how flat this is, the way that it was made. Mm, 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 mm. So we're going to intensify. As if this shit needs to be any more fucking intense. You know, it's really crazy because a lot of times the looks like these that I'm like really frustrated in the beginning always end up being my favorite. Am I saying that that's gonna happen here? I don't know, but I'm just saying that's what happened in the past, so tatter patterns tend to repeat themselves. So next to the boutique color, there's a color called Benny, which is like a darker brown, and I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush. I'm going to go where the wing ends or where the wing meets the glitter, and I'm going to dust this in there. And then I'm gonna take that first brush that we use, the ELO 74, and I'm just gonna run over it so that it's softened. I'm not picking up any other colors, I'm just dusting it over. And I'm even, I'm even gonna go back to that yellow inside the James Charles palette and go over it a little more. Can you guys see the effect the yellow has? It's so pretty, I love doing that. I love blowing shit out with the yellow colors. I kind of want to conceal that outer corner a little bit more, so I'm about to experiment. And this can ruin the whole look, um, so pray for me. <laughs> But let's see what happens when I do what I'm about to do. Bear with me here, okay? We're just winging it. So, I have the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the Extreme Gold. And what I'm going to do is I am going to try and fill in this part right here. I love it. Do you guys see what I did? I filled in the part that was missing glitter and then this is like a shimmery gold color. I blended it into the glitter. Now I'm thinking like what if I start adding like little dots and stuff? Should I do that? Okay, I'm gonna do it because it's me. So bop, 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 bop. Is it perfect? No. Am I obsessed with it? Not yet. Will I ever be? No. Let's put some highlight. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost Glow. You can use whatever highlight you have. This is just what I feel like using. And I kind of want to do a little 
flick out here. Should we do it? Should we do it? Thanks for your feedback. We should do it. Please, Lord, don't let me fuck this up. is gonna do it on the other side. I don't know. We did it. We did it on both sides. Is it good? I don't think so. I don't know. But trust the process. Trust the process. Keep it moving. Trust the process. Let's get some skin going. We're going to go in with the Touch and Soul No Pore Problem Prime Essence. I don't know what this does to my skin, but I've been using it lately and I really like the finish. So we're going to apply that. We're also going to apply the Laura Mercier foundation primer because I love her. I usually put this on the outskirts. Then I have my Botanic Farm soft cover pore balm primer. Like guys, this is all I have left. Like, I need to go buy more. I just got a gift card for Ulta, shout out to Lizzie. So I'm gonna definitely go buy some more. I think it's like $18, it's not bad. But this, I press into the skin. Grabbing my handy dandy Morphe Y6 brush. These girls need a clean, but uh, you know, I'm busy. And my Born This Way Natural Beige Foundation. And we're probably going to do two layers today because, like I said, this needs to be full coverage. Lately, don't ask me why. I just I like it. And let's make a concealer concoction. So this is um, shape tape and light medium beige. It has kind of like a little pinky undertone. So that's what we're going to use first to cancel out the lack of sleep. And. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I'm gonna go with this one. This is in the shade Medium 33N. We're gonna put that right here. And right here. Going in with a dry beauty sponge. Yes, dry, you heard that correct. And then one more layer of concealer because we're going ham today. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Ivory. I'm putting that in the front right here. Guys, make sure you bring it down because if not, then you're going to have these like white circular discs. So this is a BH Cosmetics number four brush and I'm gonna start buffing this out. And then I'll go in with the sponge and I'll fix it up. So that it looks more even. Because right now it has like all the brush lines, the brush strokes. We are going to contour. This is the... Oh, it's completely broken. It looks like I'm holding a poop. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. This is the Maybelline Master Blur Stick in medium tan. I'm going to use this to contour. How did that break? Ew. Okay, I've been putting my contour higher up lately because by the time you blend it, honey, by the time you blend it, you look like you got mud on your face. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush. This I bought a long time ago. Don't ask me where to get it now because I have no idea. 
Ooh, no, bad idea. Don't like that. Let's use this. Back to the last six. Let's set the eyes. But before we do that, you gotta get rid of all your little creases. Little creasy species. Guys, my skin has been doing so good. I'm so proud. I have been on point with my skincare. I've been going to my esthetician. I've been doing things right. Well, even though I was doing things right before, my skin was still acting up, but whatever. And then I'm just gonna kind of drag the rest around the face. I'm not putting any extra powder on the puff, but I am going to set the forehead a little bit so it doesn't get shiny. Using a soft, fluffy brush, let's wipe all that away. So here we are, looking all kind of like, looking all flat, flat. And then, let me get my contouring palette, hold on. Guys, let me tell you how excited I am about this new camera. Y'all don't know this, but my old camera would heat up every five minutes. I would have to film five minute segments at a time. And it was so annoying, um, although I had already gotten used to it. But this one is so exciting because I've been filming for what? It's been 13 minutes and it hasn't heated up on me. All right, my Jaclyn Hill O2 brush using my Kat Von D contour palette, the lightest shade. Let's switch brushes because that brush is a little bit dense. This one is a little bit less dense. Y'all know I talk about this brush all the time. We're going to go into the medium color. And these are really pigmented, so beware. You see how it's showing up a little bit more? This is a B Bella RG210. I'm going into this shade up here. You guys see the difference? Oh, I know you do. And then without any extra product of bronzer on that brush, go back in. Blend, 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 blend. Let's clean up this contour. Now we're going to do some very exaggerated blush because this is a very exaggerated look. This is the Amazon, Amazonian Tarte Clay, you know what I'm talking about, and Blushing Bride. It's one of my favorites. Is it Blushing Bride? Yeah, this is Blushing Bride. It is one of my favorites, and we're going to pat this bitch on. I also just realized that I forgot to contour my nose. I always do this. I always end up having to go back and contour my nose because I forgot. What an idiot. Using my Morphe B13 brush, I always use this one, and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. I'm taking a small fluffy blending brush and I'm going to drag it up. I'm taking this Jaclyn Hill 10 brush with some powder and we clean it up. Mm -hmm. Then fluffy brush once again. I can't find it. I have such a mess on my desk you guys like. This is giving the Virgo in me anxiety. Found my brush. So first, we're going to remove this bad boy. Blend it upwards. Up, up, up. Blend it upwards into the contour and blush. And then wipe this bad boy. Now, setting spray. Don't 
too much? Maybe. Dry it a little bit. This is the Amrezy and ABH Highlight and the JH09. So we go highlight. Oh my god, my girl, take it easy. I ain't gotta do this to them. Mm, glowy goddess. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get a random fluffy brush. You know what, I could use the same one that I used to wipe off all the bake, and I'm gonna go over everything. So I'm gonna blend everything in together. And then some more spray. So I'm gonna blow out the under eye area a lot. I'm going in with this Flower Beauty liner in, is this brown? It's brownstone. And I'm also dragging it down a little bit. I'm letting it come out. This is very creamy, so it's very pigmented. It's messy, don't worry about it. That's totally cool. I have this tiny little brush from ELO Cosmetics, which I'm like obsessed with for the upper, for the lower eyes. This is ELO Cosmetics ELO 68. Look how tiny she is. She is so tiny. I love it. I'm going in with that boutique color, the one that we used, and we're going to put this down here. It can be messy. We're going to blow it out, so it's okay. And I'm getting a small little pencil brush. Eh, yeah, we could use this one. Let's see if there's any color on here. Always check your brushes before using them, you guys. All right, yeah, that's cool. And I'm gonna go into the yellow, actually, because I love the way it looks. And I'm gonna blend this out, blow it out. Ooh, she's a sultry girl. She's a sultry girl. Then, with that same little brush that we used, the Elo, the little one, I'm gonna get that darker brown, the Benny, and I'm just gonna put it out here. As close as you can get to your lash line. Just like the outer third. Buff it out. So I've been looking at a lot of pictures of the Cleopatras online. And I saved them here on my phone. I will be posting them for you guys as well. And so a lot of them have this little detail right here. I will post this on IG. This is by Makeup dot v i will post this here somewhere in this space so that you guys can see but i do want to do that little line am i scared yes but i'm gonna do it hopefully i do it right so it's kind of like a line down and then a curved line so i'm gonna use this morphe m250 going into my morphe jet liner and I'm gonna put some dirt on up in this bitch because this hole's dry. Dry, dry, dry. Drier than the Sahara. I was gonna say something dirtier, but it's offensive, so I won't do it. I will refrain. Your girl is motherfucking stressed out. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And then in the example that I took a look at, 
my makeup by the year. What's her name? Makeup.v with three E's. She has a little rhinestone right here where they connect, and I kind of want to do that. Finally, got these freaking rhinestones on. It took forever. Um, I don't have like a gold lipstick, but I want gold lipstick vibes. <sighs> Alright, let's redo this. Uh, this probably won't make it to the camera, but the video, but I did a pink lip, but then I realized I have this NYX gold liner in glitzy gold. So I'm gonna put this all over, all over the lips. This is Desi X Katie and Dose of Colors over the top. And I'm gonna put it over the whole lip. Usually I only do it on the center, but this time I want it everywhere. Mm. Juicy. Let me just put on my wig, headpiece, and necklace, and we'll be all right, you guys. So this is the finished look. I love it. I know that this was an emotional roller coaster because I had no idea really what I was doing or where this was gonna go or if I was gonna like it, but after everything is all said and done, I love it, like I always say, trust the motherfucking process, you feel me? Um, so this wig was like $12, I got it off of Amazon, and then this was just a another headpiece that I also got off of Amazon. Uh, I think this was like $14. I'll see if I link everything down below. And then this necklace right here, which, you know, Cleopatra was very like full of gold and all that jewelry and all that stuff. This I actually got scammed by a company. They wanted me to be a brand ambassador and so they gave me a code for 50% off so that I can get a link and make my own sales and whatever. Um, but whatever, I figured it would be perfect for this look because it's like so chunky and so big. It looks kind of like a chest plate. But yeah, you guys, this is a finished look. I am so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching my emotional roller coaster. I have so many more looks coming for you guys. I am coming for y'all this October. You hear me? I'm probably gonna sit down and edit this right now so that it can be out as ASAP as possible. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all and until next time. I, why? Why? Why the fuck would I do this? Yes. I don't know what's next, so I guess sing songs and then hopefully it comes to me. Jesus, sultry girl. What's in my eye? What's in my eye? What's in my eye? I hate this game. Everybody calm down. I just keep saying. <laughs>